Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a tag video and it's the quietly or secretly returned bag tag. I was tagged by several different people. I will try to put them all down below. It's been a little bit since this tag was released, so I will do my best to reference anybody who tagged me, but if I miss you, let me know and I'll pop your name in there at some point once I hear from you. However, I do want to start and show you the bag I plan to wear today before I get into the mystery of my handbag collection. So today I have a basketball game to go to and the color of the team is this pale blue, which you all know because I talk about it all the time. And so I think I'm gonna use my Denim Soft Tabby by Coach. This bag is so soft and so nice to use. I really love the feeling of it. There's such great texture on the denim and it's it's subtly distressed so i'm pretty sure that this is going to be my bag of the day i've been using my sherling pillow madison which is actually in the other room so i can't show it to you for the last several days but really only because i haven't left the house and i've been too lazy to change my bag to sit on the counter but today since i'm going somewhere i think i'm going to switch in to this beauty i've had a few people recently ask me what i think about the black denim version of the soft tabby and this is what i think the fabric on this one is amazing so i do think that the fabric on the black one will be amazing too i love that it has silver hardware my only hesitation with it is that i just don't wear black bags enough that collecting them where i get many many black bags makes a lot of sense because i already have more than i use so i think i'm gonna hold off and not buy that one unless it goes on deep discount like we have seen so many of them do in the past few months if that black one pops up for 159 or 171 i will probably buy it i love that it has silver hardware and i love the soft tabbies so if i can get it for a steal then i would go for it otherwise i'm happy with the black bags that i currently have. Since I have this bag out right now, I do want to talk about a bag that I secretly returned, and that would be the Soft Tabby in the Oak Maple Jacquard. I'll pop a picture of it in right here. So I really coveted the Oak Maple Jacquard Soft Tabby, and I did get a good deal on it from Bloomingdale's, and after a while, I realized that I was just not going to use that bag, so I returned it. Bloomingdale's has an extremely long return window, so I think it's at least a year, and I hadn't used it, and it hadn't been a year. So I went ahead and returned that bag with no issues to Bloomingdale's. That's why I shop at Bloomingdale's so much, is because they are so great to work with. If you change your mind or have uncertainty about a piece that you've acquired from them, as long as the tags are attached, and probably even if they aren't, they are very generous, much like Nordstrom with their return policy. If you don't know what I'm talking about with regards to Jacquard, it's this type of material, and this has a very different feel to it to me than this. This is softer to me than the Jacquard is. And the Oak Maple was very much like this in not only color, I think it had a little bit more darkness to it, but also in the texture. I do really, really, really like the Rogues with the Jacquard. They are made with recycled plastic, and I'm not sure that this weave and the one on the Soft Tabby are made from recycled plastic, but when you feel those rogues that are made of the Jacquard material, it's it's just very different. It has a lot more texture to it, and I enjoy the feeling of those. I'll pop a picture of one of those in right here. much more than I enjoy the, the feeling of this material. I like this material for a hat, but not so much for a handbag. So that is the first bag that I secretly or quietly returned. The next bag I would like to talk about is the Tory Burch Soft Fleming. I did do a video on it, an unboxing video, and I will pop that down in the description box. And so let me go ahead and pop that picture in here. 
So while this is a beautiful bag, I have several bags in this color family from Coach, as well as one high-end one that I'll show you here in just a minute. And I felt like that bag was going to just sort of get lost amongst other ones that I would reach for first. So that's why I returned it. I would pick it up again if it went on a deeper discount because it is super nice. The lambskin on it is super nice. It was just a little bit structured. It wasn't structured like the original Fleming's. Hold on, Diet Dr. Pepper break. But it was much more structured than the previous version of the soft Fleming. I'm going to put a picture of the original Fleming and then the soft Fleming in right here so you can see what I'm talking about. So I feel like that this new version of the soft Fleming is a great marriage between those two styles. And I do really like it. And I think if it came out in another colorway that I felt like I didn't have in my closet, that would be great too. But right now I'm going to hold off on that bag. And that is why I secretly or quietly returned that one. Next are some eye candy. I've got my Pillow Madison and Coral. So I did order a few different ones in this particular style in the chalk color. And I found one that I was pretty happy with, but when I took it outside into the light, I could see little black specks. And I think that it was because there's glazing around these edges. And when the glazing was applied, it just grabbed onto that chalk material. And every single one I got seemed to have a few specks. My Ivory Pillow Tabby by Coach, it has a couple specks on it, and I love that bag, so I decided to stick with it, despite the fact. But with Coach Smooth Lambskin, I tend to see those little black specks when I take the bag out, but not when I'm in my closet. So when I was driving in the car and it was next to me on the seat, I could see black specks with my pillow tabby. So I went ahead and took that chalk bag outside after I did the video and I saw a few little marks on it and I kept it for a few days. And then within a week or so, I acquired this bag. And this is the Coach Studio bag in the color chalk. And I absolutely love this bag. I love that it's different. I have a lot of chain shoulder bags, the convertible style. And I love that this bag does not have that convertible chain on it, that it comes with a leather crossbody strap, and it also has D-rings, so I can attach decorative chain, like the infamous Coach C chain, to this bag, no problem. So it gives me a lot of flexibility, and I was just smitten with the quilting on this bag, the feel of the leather, as well as the interior. The interior of this bag is all leather lined. I have a green tag insert in that pocket to prevent me from scratching it, but the leather inside and out is just amazing. And so for me, this bag and this colorway won out over the Pillow Madison. There aren't as many options in the studio bag as there are in the Pillow Madison in terms of colorways with brass hardware. I really prefer brass hardware with Coach. I do have two Pillow Madisons that have dark hardware. And honestly, if they were brass, they would be so much better because the dark hardware just chips. That's not really something that I can relate to why I prefer this bag over the chalk Pillow Madison but it does bring more variety into my collection. So that is a huge bonus for this style over the one that I quietly returned. Not too long after that, I also acquired this small Lulu puffer bag by Saint Laurent. This is in the color Crema Soft. It is also a quilted lambskin. And the chevron tie quilting is sort of reminiscent of the geometric designs on the Pillow Madison. So now I have a chain shoulder option as well as the studio, which is more of a crossbody long shoulder option in this lighter color in the quilted smooshy bags. So I did not need the chalk pillow medicine and I won't buy it even if it shows up at a super cheap price. I have one more bag to go in my quietly returned bag tag.
this one is going to be a shocker for you. It's actually two bags that I quietly returned and I feel a little guilty about these, but they just weren't right for me. So I got into collecting the Longchamp brioche bags. I love this style. It's wonderful. It's lambskin. It's fabulous. This is in the color Jade and it is a super stunning color. It has a great big opening. I have a tiny insert in it that was for a Gucci Marmont. Totally is not designed for this bag, but I am happy to have something in it to sort of organize myself and also just keep the bag from smooshing a whole bunch. But I had this bag in the powder color, which is a pale pink. I still have that one. I also had it in black from TJ Maxx and in red from the Longchamp outlet. I quietly returned the black one to TJ Maxx. The reason being is that I felt like I have too many black bags with dark hardware. With the brand Longchamp alone, I have two black bags with dark hardware. And I just wasn't super happy with the black brioche from TJ Maxx to begin with because they shipped it in a plastic bag with no padding and it came kind of crushed from here to here. So it collapsed whenever you picked it up from the base. And like this is withstanding the pressure that I'm exerting on it while I'm holding it here. So I quietly returned that bag. I don't think bags should be shipped in plastic bags. And so that was my little revolt. The red one, however, I got from Kevin at the San Marcos outlet. And I was going to totally keep that, but it had a defect. And I'm going to pop a picture of the defect if I can find it right here. I didn't notice it till I went to use it the first time. And I opened it and I noticed that this little magnetic button was sticking out away from its base by at least a couple centimeters. It had dislodged itself. And so when I sent pictures to Kevin, he said, send it back, no problem. And so I did. And he sent me a replacement. And when the replacement came, I wasn't happy with it either. It had some scratches that really bugged me. It had a scratch right here on the front of the the buckle area, it was like a little nick and I just couldn't live with it. So I ended up returning that one and just saying, I'm done. I don't wanna do any other exchanges. I'm happy with what I have. I had acquired this opium red Saint Laurent puffer. And then I had also already had this red Longchamp extra small, which I use for a lot of my boys games. So I felt like I was covered and I didn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to find another brioche in the red shade. Even when you get these bags, the brioche bags, from the outlet, they're going to be close to $500 at the lowest. So for me, when I run into a situation where I have to try multiple times to get a bag and it doesn't work out, sometimes I just think that it's not meant to be and that's where I was with the red brioche. So that is the end of the Bags I Quietly Returned video. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have, please give me a huge thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.